They lived only to face a new nightmare. The war against the machines. It's fairly easy to imagine a world-ending event. Science fiction movies have trained us to do so for years. And for that quote-unquote training, civilization as we know it might pay the ultimate price. Ever since the invention of agriculture, we began to flirt with the idea of automating mundane tasks. Automation is not only beneficial, but it's vital in the 21st century global economy. Our modern societies are highly dependent on it. The future of stock trading, for example, is being shaped by artificial intelligence. Many trading firms are relying on AI to analyze millions of data points and execute trades at their own will in real time, with an optimal price, thus mitigating risks and creating opportunities for higher returns. As of today, the aviation industry supports 65.5 million jobs worldwide and about 3.6% of the total world's GDP. But AI has wrapped its digital tentacles around this industry as well. Of course, it's in our nature to anthropomorphize and attribute agency to a process created by our own bidding, but it's hard not to when you realize the deep involvement of decision-making initiated by AI. In a highly competitive industry such as aviation, only companies with the most cutting-edge technology can prevail. It is estimated that a Boeing plane involves only about seven minutes of human-steered flight, usually the takeoff and landing. The rest is on autopilot. To maximize revenue, airline companies are using AI for dynamic pricing. After analyzing characteristics and evaluating available details about your purchasing history, the algorithm might adjust the price because it has determined you are willing to pay a few more cents than the previous traveler. The benefits of automated systems are also being exploited in healthcare. To interpret and comprehend complicated medical data, healthcare professionals are using AI to help them with clinical diagnoses of patients. But sophisticated computer algorithms now have the ability to approximate conclusions without direct human input. These algorithms can recognize patterns in behavior and create their own logic. AI-assisted robotic surgery is another thing straight out of a science fiction movie that is now part of reality. A study with 379 orthopedic patients showed AI-assisted robotic procedures resulted with five times fewer complications compared to surgeons operating alone. Intuitive Surgical is an American cooperation that develops, manufactures, and markets robotic products designed to improve clinical outcomes of patients through minimally evasive surgery. They manufactured the Da Vinci surgical system that's being used in 67 countries around the world. In the near future, the best surgeon featured on the front covers of a Time magazine might be an AI-driven robotic surgeon. While the loss of white-collar jobs is going to be a major concern in the near future, people today are already losing their blue-collar jobs to AI. In the United States, more than 5 million manufacturing workers lost their jobs after the year 2000. Over 80% of the jobs lost, or 4 million jobs, were due to automation. Many truck drivers are losing their jobs due to automated self-driving trucks, and it's a huge challenge to retrain these workers. But it's important to remember, 50 million people suffer non-fatal injuries on traffic accidents annually worldwide. Statistically, 3,700 people lose their lives every single day on road crashes. As AI algorithms for self-driving vehicles get better, this statistic will eventually get close to zero. But with every benefit of automation, there seems to be an equal, if not greater, cost to it. Particularly when it comes to the manufacturing of autonomous weapons which do not have the apparent benefit other than the saying, if we don't do it, they will. It's always the ominous, they. We've seen what the dangers of a civilization ending threat looks like, thanks to the Cold War between the United States and the Soviet Union. If we enter another Cold War between the US and China over an arms race for the development of autonomous weapons, we might not get so lucky this time. The doomsday clock device for this quote-unquote old threat of nuclear weapons was set two minutes to midnight. 
and we are still seeking new ways for mutually assured destruction. Lethal Autonomous Weapons Systems or slaughter bots, can independently search for and engage the enemy based on program descriptions of their targets. One semi-pro argument for developing autonomous weapons is that the life value of human soldiers will increase as wars will be fought with robots. But, at the same time, nations might become eager to engage in wars more often if the cost to human lives is minimal. So, pick your poison. An artificial intelligence flight combat system dubbed Alpha defeated one of Air Force One's top tactical experts. Colonel Gene Lee described it as the most aggressive, responsive, dynamic and credible AI I've seen to date. Alpha's AI algorithms require very little processing power to run. A $500 PC was able to run it and defeat the Colonel on every encounter they had on the flight simulator. It's not a huge surprise given the fact that a machine has superior processing speed over a human brain. The calculator on our phones has superhuman abilities to calculate arithmetic sequences, but these are narrow tasks, thus we tend not to be as impressed by them. For example, when the chess playing computer Deep Blue beat chess world champion Garry Kasparov in 1997, people moved the goalposts beating their chest and proclaiming machines won't be able to beat humans in the game of Go for another 100 years. In March 2016, Google's AI system AlphaGo made history when it beat Go world champion Lee Seedol 4-1. Now Seedol is retired and he stated, I've realised that I'm not at the top. Even if I become number one, there is still an entity that cannot be defeated. We might not grasp the implications of this at first, but the fact remains. Unless we enhance our brain power technology, there will never be a human born that can defeat machines in these games. Move by move, field by field, AI will dominate everything ever created by humans. In the future, the best mathematician, the best physicist, the best scientist, poet, composer, artist will be an AI. At that point, it will be called an AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Perhaps the most daunting fact to contemplate about an AGI, having a superior intellect and being better at everything else we do, is the possibility that it might not be conscious. We still have to solve the hard problem of consciousness and explain how it arises in a complex system such as the brain. Raw, superior processing power of information does not automatically give rise to a conscious system or at least we don't know that it does. And here lies a fundamental problem with the worldview some philosophers have taken surrounding this issue. We've all heard the example of the highway and the anthill before, where construction work is to be done and ants stand in the way. We do not stop construction because we are worried in the process we will destroy ants. An AGI standing in relation to us, the same we do to ants, might decide to squash us if we get in the way of its plans. Some moral philosophers see no problem with that because an artificial general intelligence will be so much smarter, beautiful and everything that is good than us. Therefore, by definition, it will be more important than us. But the fundamental assumption here is that the AGI will be conscious, and given the lack of understanding of how consciousness arises, that is not a safe assumption to make. Humans are governed by two fundamental algorithms, survival and reproduction. Essentially, everything we do stems from these two master algorithms. It is unknown why evolution has gifted us consciousness, or whether the virtue of having these two algorithms, a complex nervous system and a cerebral cortex, inevitably gives rise to experience or consciousness. The gravity of our planet affects our ability, which affects the contents of consciousness and the way of being. A conscious AGI might experience the passing of time in a very strange way. A second for us feels like a very short period of time, but if the AGI possesses information millions of times faster than us, one second to it might feel like 10 days to us. Imagine as you are hearing this sentence, by the time you decide to lift your sceptical eyebrow, you will have 10 days in between that simple movement. Even the thought of feeling infinite boredom or suffering is tied to our two prime algorithms but an AGI doesn't necessarily have to be created in our own image. One scary aspect about the future development of AI is that at some point, they will be able to make changes to their own source code. That would be the equivalent of us making changes to our genome to make ourselves smarter or anything else we want. 
If we ever decide to create a smart machine with a self-preserving algorithm, we would have built the perfect natural psychopath, unless we program empathy into it, or the value of human life. It would destroy us as a matter of course. The moment it comes online and finds out apes with nuclear weapons are in charge, our future will be in serious jeopardy. That is why the alignment problem, or the AI control problem, is perhaps the single most important task for humanity to get right the first time. Because we might not ever get the chance to try again. Thanks for watching. Did you like this video? Then show your support by subscribing, ringing the bell, and enabling notifications to never miss videos like this.